This is a Boogaboo Donkey, and uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about instability with the chassis. So this uh, chassis has a bit of instability between these two discs, which actually indicates that there's a bit of damage uh, in the plastic uh, parts that connect between these two discs. But um, customer wants to save a little bit of money and so on, and the damage is most likely not that much there. So we're gonna do what we can to tighten it in other ways. Uh, if these were so damaged they would need to be swapped, you would notice that you could push down completely on one side and you would only get resistance from the undamaged side. And it hasn't gotten to that point yet. However, uh, there is quite a bit of space between the discs, which indicates that we can tighten the screw a bit. And in addition, there's a large degree of looseness here between the bar and the plastic part. So we're gonna drill out this rivet and we're going to uh, re-rivet it. Um, when you have this looseness here, when this rivet has begun to loosen, what will eventually happen is that this plastic piece will crack. So uh, that's an important thing to look out for if you own one of these strollers. Okay, we're gonna start by tightening the screw here. So we're going to need to pop off the cap. I'm just gonna use a butter knife. You can also use a flathead screwdriver like this. And then we will just tighten it as much as we can. Tightens a little bit. It's not that horribly much. There we go. And now we're going to proceed to drill out this rivet. So we turn the stroller on its side, and now we're just going to drill this rivet straight out. goes. Pull out the rest of it. And then we're just going to directly re-rivet it. It's going to use uh, pop rivets in this case on either side. Okay, flipping it up so we can get to the other side. And now you can see that it no longer moves inside that plastic piece. So we'll wind up doing the exact same process on the other side, and it will actually overall add quite a bit of stability to the chassis. To uh, replace this cap, you just use a bit of super glue. And then press it on tightly. So anyway, that's uh, how you can add a bit of stability to your chassis if it has started to become loose in those areas. We hope this video has been helpful. If it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.